Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we saw the data part at the time of creation of series. We have seen different types of data which we can pass to create our series object. In this video, we will see how we can use index at the time of creation of series. We will see how indexes can be taken when we create our series object using dictionary. We will see how we can pass our own indexes using list. We will also see how different indexes can be provided when our data is a scalar value. So let us start with dictionary. We have already seen this example where our index part will be taken by key of dictionary. So in this case, if you create a series object with dictionary, then the key of dictionary will be taken as indexes of series. Here the key is A, B and C. So A, B and C will become the indexes for data 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Now move forward how the list can be provided to indexes. Here you can see I have taken a list and I am creating a series where data is provided as L which is a list and indexes is provided as a list of values. But here you can see that the number of elements in list are 3 per length of dictionary is 4. In that case, if we want to create our series, our data will be 1, 2 and 3 and our indexes will be x, y, z and k. For this case, there will be no data. So in this case, the Python will show the error. As you can see here, length of passed values is 3, indexes implies 4. There is a rule that the length of data and indexes should be same. Otherwise, Python will show the error. So when you are passing your own indexes, you should remember that the length of your indexes will be same as the length of your data or the number of elements of data will be same as number of elements in indexes. You can see here I have removed the k part. Now the length of data is 3, length of index is 3. So in this case my program will execute successfully. As you were seeing in my previous videos I was creating series with giving data only. I was not giving data is equal to part. This is optional part. You can give data is equal to or you can directly give data. Let us see these two examples. Here I am giving the data part directly and not giving data is equal to. In this case also my program will run successfully. Here I am not giving data as well as indexes. In this case also my program will run successfully. But you must remember that if you are not giving data and index is equal to then the order of your data and indexes should be in order. First data part will come, then your index part will come. If you don't do this, then your program will show error. So in this case, first data will come, then index will come. But if you see this, I can create this line like this also. In this case, both are true, both are correct and both will run 
successfully but if you are not giving this part and this part then this will show error you have to give l comma x y z hope this is clear for you now let us move to another thing which is indexes with scalar values a scalar value is nothing but a single value when you give a single value then it is called a scalar value here you can see i am giving hello this is scalar value why because it is single so if you give a scalar value and a list of indexes then for each index the value will be same again let us see here see this example i have created a list with this scalar value see these brackets in this case the length of my data is 1 length of index will be 3 so in this case my program will show the error you can see here so if we are using a scalar value then only we can use a list of indexes you can see this example here this is not a list this is a scalar value but in this case i am using a list so if it is a scalar value then it is fine if it is a list then the number of elements in data part will be same as number of elements in index part this will show the error this will be correct now homework for you is to try all these practically and send me dot py file thank you